Oh, it's time for the last, the very last Ask a Reasonable Question. This is the last time your ears will have to endure this ident. Ask a Reasonable Question. Okay, the first question is from Cleo. The question is, movies or music, which could you not live without? Oh, it's a very easy answer for me on this one. Music was definitely my first love. And as I've said many times, I am a failed or a frustrated musician. So, I mean, without music, there'd be silence and I couldn't deal with that. Movies, seen enough of them, you know, I keep them in my head. No, definitely music, definitely music. And I'll do one more. This is from Paula. What were you listening to when you were 13 or 14? Apparently, this is when our musical tastes are formed. Oh, well, at that age, I was still obsessed with the Beatles. What else was I listening to? Stone Roses. I was obsessed with the Frank and Walters, who were a Cork band. I used to kind of follow them around in Cork. I remember Actung Baby came out when I was 14. And I remember hearing The Fly. I remember being in my mother's Fiat 127 and she was gone into the shops or something and that came on the radio, The Fly. And it was huge because it was so different and so dangerous and so processed and so grown up and has that epic edge guitar solo on it. And, you know, you two were superstars in Ireland. And I was into a lot of Irish music. I was into Hot House Flowers. They were a big band for me at the time. I started discovering the Pogues at that time. Sinead O'Connor. We're going to hear some Sinead O'Connor a little later on the show. So I guess it was a lot of Irish music I was listening to. There was a lot of amazing Irish acts around all that time ago. <laughs> so a big thank you to everyone who sent in uh, reasonable questions over the last few weeks. And also to you who sent in marginally unreasonable questions. Let's call them reasonable, unreasonable questions a la Donald Rumsfeld.